Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss case number 3 of omitted wear mended closed traverse when the length of two lines are missing. So let's discuss about this case. So let's say that we are having this closed traverse having six lines where we can see that the length of BC line and length of EF line is missing. Since this is a closed traverse, so we have advantage of the summation of all departures and summation of all latitudes is equal to zero. So using that expressions, we can calculate these lengths. So to further elaborate this case, we are going to solve this example where we can see that there are five lines are being given where the length of BC and length of EA is missing, whereas every other data is given to us like the length of all other lines and bearing of all the lines are given. So we know that to solve this problem, we have to determine the latitude and departure of each of the line. So let's calculate the latitude and departure of all the lines. So let me quickly write down the length and bearing of all the lines. Since the length of BC is not given, so we are assuming that the length is L1. Similarly, the length of EA is not given. So we are assuming that length as L2. The bearing of all the lines are given. So let me quickly write it down. So using the formulas of latitudes, we will be having latitude. Similarly, we will be having departure. So for latitude, we have formula L cos theta. So for AB, we will be having latitude as 86.6. So that is actually 100 multiplied by cos 30 degree 30 minutes. Similarly, the latitude of BC line would be minus 0.707 multiply by L since we are not being given with the length. Latitude for the CD will be negative 57.03. Latitude for the DE line would be minus 25.25. So length of EA is not given. So we are going to have latitude as 0 0.763 L2. So cos 319 degree 45 minutes will have 0.763. Similarly, the departures L sine theta formula. So the departure for AB would be 51 after doing the calculation, 100 multiplied by sine 30 degree 30 minutes. I did a small mistake here. It's actually 100.5 meter length. The departure of BC line would be positive 0.707 L1. The departure for CD would be negative 48.7. Departure for D would be negative 43.73. And departure for the last line EA whose length is required would be in terms of the variable L2. I believe you have the concept why these values, some values are negative and some values are positive. Though the calculations will be giving us the negative and positive value, but you should be knowing the concept behind it. If you don't know, then you can refer to my previous videos related to the latitude and departure, the basics, where I've discussed that where the departure will be negative and where will be positive, similarly for the latitudes. So to further move on, because this is a closed traverse, so the summation of all latitudes would be equal to zero. Similarly, summation of all the departures would be equal to zero because this is a closed traverse. So let's add all the latitudes first. So simplifying this equation, we are going to have the simplified form of the equation. So let's name this equation as equation number one. In a similar way, we know that the summation of all departures equal to zero in a closed traverse. So adding all these departures and equating it equal to zero. So we can simplify this equation. So on simplifying, we are going to have the equation as, so this will be equation number two. Now, if you carefully look at these two equations, luckily we have same coefficient of L1 in equation one, as well as in equation number two. So the advantage of this will be when we will add these two equations, the L1 expression will get cancelled. And as a result of that, we will be getting equation where there will be only L2 as the variable. And hence, we can easily calculate L2 first. And once we have calculated L2, we can place in any equation like we can place in equation 1 or in equation 2 to get L1 value. So luckily, we are having uh, a bearing which actually gives us one negative value and another positive value but in, instead if it would be giving both positive or both negative still calculations would have been easy 
and uh, that will happen like when the bearing is 45 degree adding 90 to it 135 degree adding 90 to it 225 degree adding 90 to it 315 degrees so there we have the advantage but in case if we are having a bearing which is not 45 or 135 or the other bearings that i have told you then in that case the calculations will be simple like you will be using your basics of mathematics like like here you can see if you want to cancel out the l2 value then in that case you are going to multiply coefficient of uh, l2 with the equation number two here and the coefficient of l2 in equation two to equation one by doing so we are going to get a value which will be same and uh, then we can cancel out the l2 value but here we have the advantage so let's add these two equations so let me quickly rewrite both these equations so let's add these two equations so when we will add them this will get cancelled we are going to get some coefficient of l2 here that will be 0.117 l2 negative value here 37.11 equal to 0 then so shifting this uh, 37.11 on the other side that will become positive and then dividing with 0.117 we are going to get the value of l2 as 317.18 meters so once we have the value of L2, that is one of the answer, we can put into any of the equation. We can put in equation 1 or equation number 2. So when you put the value of L2 in any of the equation, you are going to get the L1 value as, and that is the another answer. So this is how the calculation will be done when the length of two lines are missing in any closed traverse. So I hope you have got the concept how the calculations will be done in this case. Still, if you feel any difficulty, then let me know through the comment section so that I can get back to you. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in next coming videos. Thank you.